is something of a conflicted character, isn't he? He's, is he a good guy that's um, done a lot of bad things and wants to redeem himself, or is he just a bad guy that's trying to make good? I'm one of those people who doesn't believe that anybody's all of one thing, um, especially not all bad. But, uh, yeah, he's certainly all of those things. Um, I don't know if he's on a conscious quest for redemption, but if he found a little bit of it, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't make him mad. Um, he's, uh, he's a lot of things rolled up into one. He's, uh, he's lived a, a, a very uh, full life, um, uh, a lot of which he's just exhausted with. And your character, on the other hand, is, is quite an innocent at the beginning, but she soon loses her innocence, doesn't she? Yeah, yeah, she kind of starts out a bit, a bit vulnerable and um, a little naive at points. And, uh, but I think what's kind of cool about it is that she, as, as she experiences all these things and maybe makes some bad choices, she learns from those things and implements them going forward and kind of toughens up pretty quickly and realizes what this world that she's in is all about and, and knowing that she can't trust everybody and, you know, she's going to kind of get some thicker skin to, to kind of make it through it all. And for the action side, how did you find that? Was it fun? Oh, I, I love stunt days. Stunt days are my favorite days. I think it's pretty well all around the same yeah, for everybody. Yeah, we all had a really good time with it. It's an it, extremely physical show, but, uh, but none of us would have it any other way. Yeah, it's fun. So why does the world go so violent when people would have thought, you know, we've had a world that's been violent for so long, suddenly everything stops and we can't do anything. Why don't we just get along with each other? Well, this is one version of what might happen if the power went out. But there are studies that have, that have determined that it would only take uh, a matter of days, you know, if, if not hours, for chaos to ensue. Um, whether it's our kind of chaos, who knows? But uh, this is uh, our little legend that we're creating. And also, you'll see, kind of in the in the back half of the of the season, we do um, kind of dabble into some other of the territories, and we go into the the Georgia Republic, which is a lot different than the Monroe militia. It's it's a, a very different world. There's not that kind of fighting, and and all. It's a lot calmer and more civilized type of place. It's just the way that the that the Monroe Republic is is run is kind of what we've touched on to right now. And I guess if it was a really show about really peaceful communities, it wouldn't be great viewing either. Uh, it, it would be a different show, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other thing that always puzzles me about post-apocalyptic shows is, why doesn't anybody use bikes, push bikes? Oh, you'll see bicycles uh, yeah, on Yeah, they, they, they come it's around. Just not a, it's, just not, uh, it's not just not a show about bikes. <laughs> you know, everybody walks or takes horses, but you know, there must be millions of bicycles just lying around that people could use. We wouldn't look very tough riding around with swords on bicycles, would Probably we? Probably not. No. Plus, I mean, you know, a lot of it's going in and out of really thick grass and all that stuff. You couldn't really ride your bike through all that. It would be a little tougher. Yeah, it's just one of the things I always have about post-apocalyptic worlds is you know, nobody ever takes a bike. Like, yeah, I know. Or hang gliders. <laughs> yeah, but no, the <laughs> bikes are a lot easier Skateboards. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think so. Um, the clothes always look really neat and clean and tidy. You know, after 15 years without any manufacturing, everybody still looks pretty well dressed. Mm -hmm. Part of the magic of television. <laughs> 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 so it's like where the music comes from as well. Is it? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Pull those guys. <laughs> and where do you see the show going from, from where it's got to now? To the moon. To the moon, yeah. <laughs> House. Yeah, just an entire different planet. Um, we have no idea what's what's in store for uh, season two. Actually, we've, uh, we haven't been given any clues. We haven't seen word one of any script yet, so we don't. Uh, we actually don't know. Did you get anything like during the season to get things that aren't revealed to you to add to the surprise? Like, oh, for the for the back half. Um, yeah, that well, you you dip into yeah, the like other when main characters may or may not die. Are these kept sort of... Oh, yeah, we we don't talk about things <laughs> like that. <laughs> we can't tell you any but of But we can like tell that. you that yeah, the nature of this show is, is, that, uh, is that people are going to come along and people are going to die. That's the, that's the way it is. But you never know if it's going to be your character. Oh, no. <laughs> Why, do you know something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <laughs>